Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. This is uh, between the Comlands and Mount Gagazette. The fastest way to get there via airship is actually Mount Gagazette and then just run down the mountain rather than going Comlands and getting a chocobo. But if we go underneath the bridge, it will take us towards our goal, which is Yojimbo, and hopefully Dark Yojimbo isn't here. He's tending to be here. I do have my no encounter weapon on for purposes of basically ease of traveling through this area. There are random encounters here, and I will have to do that later to capture things, but I'm not going to talk to any of these people because I don't trust anyone. But what we need to do is come over here before we actually go in. There's a rusty sword. We'll need that. I don't remember if I need to talk to anyone specifically here, but we do need the rusty sword for, I believe, Orin's ultimate weapon, so don't forget where that is. It's pretty easy to get. I don't believe there are encounters out here, but I could be mistaken. But this is our destination, so. Where are we? The faith is inside. As are the fiends. <gasps> hey, this where? Hmm. Where? What? The summoner I guarded on my first pilgrimage died here. Yuna, let's go. The faith awaits. We won't have to worry about that because A, we're incredibly powerful, and B, we have a no encounters weapon. Which doesn't work in all places. And there is a pad here for, again, ease of travel. There should be several pads which lead to several places which contain several items. Including, but not limited to, an MP sphere, which would be quite handy to have. Oh, there's the Mega Elixir. Which is also quite handy to have, because I actually do need Mega Elixirs at this point. Quite a few Mega Elixirs. I swear to god if we find Dark Aeons in here. I'm gonna be very upset. What's a Faith doing in a place like this? Don't ask me. They say it was stolen from a temple long ago. Huh? With no Faith, summoners cannot train. Without training, they cannot call the final Aeon. Without the final Aeon, they cannot defeat Sin. That is why. Cause then the summoner won't die! Mm. That must be what the thief was thinking. agree with him. Mm -hmm. Indeedly. Seriously though, if there's a Dark Aeon in here, I don't know where specifically it spawns. I just know for a fact that it is in here and you do have to fight it five times in order to kill it. I'll quote kill it. Which means you can farm it, you can fight it once, leave, get, you know, whatever items you can from killing it, just come back, fight it again, etc, etc. I may employ that. I've heard it's a decent way to get, I think, dark matter? But it's a decent way to get something rare. Dark matter being the rarest thing in the game would make sense. So, Fortune Sphere, nice. They're actually pretty rare, too. You need, uh, I think it's, what, 99 dark matter to... To customize break damage limit on a weapon, so it's very expensive and very rare and very hard to do. Mostly for the purpose of, uh, there's the Albed Primer in this place. The only one we're missing is in Omega, which I may go find, but I'm unsure. Um, primarily, probably to make the Ultima weapons slightly more appealing, because the stuff they have on the Ultima weapons isn't always the best, but the Ultima weapons do have a passive ability. 
in that the closer you are to full on a specific stat, either HP or MP, the more damage you'll do, so pretty handy. I'm gonna save here. Primarily because I'm a scaredy cat and afraid of everything going wrong. 62 save slots. All right. Pat, another Guado fiend? No, an unsent. It is. It's you, is it not, Lady Ginnam? Forgive me. I was too young. Seizure warning, please. There is no human left in you now, is there? Very well then. Allow me to perform my last duty to you. My last as your guardian. Aeon fight. This is not the Dark Aeon. This is uh, this is the event required to actually get Yojimbo the first time. He's not particularly difficult. He has really high physical defense, which is slightly problematic uh, because I'm going to be doing entirely physical damage. However, we are drastically more powerful than you should be doing this area, so we're just gonna wreck the dude, basically. In fact, Auron still hits 10k, which is insane. And he's dead. And I'm using a capture weapon weapon on Auron. Ah, well, apparently you can't capture your Jimbo, as it turns out. Sadly, that does mean I can't show you any of his sweet animations for his abilities, but we will probably see those later when I summon him. Strange. I thought it would be sadder somehow. Maybe I've gotten... used to farewells. You're stronger now. Waka. I hope you're right. Yuna, the faith is inside. Go do what you came to do. Righty-ho! You notice there's two platforms on each side. That's for this thing, which functions just like the one in Xanarkin, except it appears to actually work now. One in Xanarkin was being really weird, sadly. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the treasure in this area. Flexible arm, I don't actually care about, but it's always good to grab it anyway. It doesn't matter which direction that technically teleports you, so basically ignore it. Uh, and to the right, we'll find, I think, the MP sphere. There's actually two treasure chests over here. And there's the MP sphere, which is useful. Not, you know, all too useful, but it is useful. Also, I just hit my door over me. And now we go into the Cavern of the Faith, which is unlike other faith in that you don't just get the Aeon. This is why it requires Gil. And there is a trick to it, so... I will explain the trick when we're done watching this cutscene and into the menu, basically.
I am the Blade of Vengeance. They dare only whisper my name. Yojimbo. Summoner, I ask you, what do you want of me? Now when he asks this, uh, to get the lowest price, you're going to want to say to, to, to defeat the most powerful of enemies, and that will give you the lowest you starving bid, strength, basically. You must pay my price. Make your offer. So we'll start with 250k, we will exactly offer half of that, plus one gill, so one, two, three, one, two, three. So 125,000 plus one, exactly half his price. Do we have a deal? He'll lower it. We will increase our bid by one and offer it again. Do we have a deal? Once he hits 205k, uh, he will accept a price slightly below 200k, but I'm not exactly sure what, so we're just going to offer 200k. Basically, you need about 200k to do this. Um, you may or may not be able to go lower than a 205 bid, but if you push it too far, it's just, that's it. He's tired of your bollocks and he's just going to go back to sleep. So we're going to bid 200k and go for it. Adequate. You are my client henceforth. My sword shall guard you on your journey, Summoner. Now, if you ever bid, and I did not get a name for this, I'm actually going to splice this one, but... If you bid um, at any point in that three times what his uh, price listed is, so 205 would be three times that, uh, you will get two teleport spheres as well as his service. So if you need some teleport spheres, do that. That's a really expensive way to get teleport spheres, though. So I'd recommend against it. And I'm going to go figure out what to name you Jimbo, and I will be back momentarily. I wanted to go with blank door, but that doesn't fit. And then I thought about doing blank door without the A, but then that just looks really weird. So we're just going to call you blank. So there you go. We're not going to really use that Aeon a whole lot, but you have an Aeon now. And I actually need to check because now my timer is all sorts of off. It's all about the money. That was about 12 minutes for that one. This could be a fairly short one. Actually, no, we're going to the Omega Ruins. So next time we come here, there will be a very angry dark version of you, Jimbo. I'm actually glad that you can come here before uh, and get Yojimbo before he'll actually spawn. I suppose that makes sense. But then the dark Magis sisters can spawn before you have the Magis sisters. So it's, you know, whatever. Either way, we now have that. Let me get my map O... Um, the Omega Ruins, wherever that is. I should have a map of the Omega Ruins. By God, where is it at? Now you get to hear me flip pages. There it is. And we're gonna go in the Omega Ruins and the grab the. Showdown was shit. Um, I say, let's get this show on the road. I guess we'll grab all of the treasure. I was gonna say just the Abed Primer, but we have no encounters, so it's fairly null and void, and we'll just go wherever we feel like it. So that's always fun. Alrighty, Omega Ruins, there it is. I was looking at Xanarkand Ruins and I was like, wait a second, that's not right at all. Here we go! There are two bosses in the Omega Ruins. One of them we could probably take now, the other one we could not take now because it'll murder us and it's called Omega. Um, the other one, I think it's Ultima. I could be mistaken on that, but he's basically like a really weak version of Omega. He's not immune to really many things at all. He doesn't have much attack or anything. Um, and we need to slap Riku back in the main party. I'm pretty sure no encounter works here. I could be mistaken, though. There are, however, unless I'm mistaken, uh, chests that basically cause encounters, so I'm somewhat worried about opening these chests but yeah so there are chests that cause random encounters so that not the lizard the chest is a mimic if you want a lot of gill try to find uh, encounters with these mimics you'll have to steal from them and open the chest everything in omega ruins it's like a truck but we are pretty leveled now but if you want a lot of gill 
steal from the chest, it'll turn into a mimic and then kill the mimic. They drop 50k a piece. I'm not actually gonna open any of these chests then unless I know there's an item in it, which I don't know that there's any in those. If you put Gillionaire uh, on someone on your front line, you'll get double the gill, so you get 100k per mimic that you actually kill. I don't actually know why I'm over here, because there's no loot over here. There's this, which lets you see, you know, the rest of the Omega Ruins that you can't get to from here. Other than that, there's not a whole lot. So let's actually m make our way in the proper direction this time, shall we? And as I mentioned the first time we're here, you don't have a mini-map until you actually explore the area, so... But I have a map anyway, so there's some more chests in there, you can open those, take a risk. There are items in some of those chests that may or may not be random, may be scripted, I don't know. It's probably scripted, but either way, I'll grab that on my own time. It's gonna probably be stuff like X potions, etc, etc. Oh yeah, there's like a puzzle in this place involving these, I think, to make that bridge so you can get over to the treasure over there. But I don't remember how to activate that. But when we actually have the video dedicated to the Omega Ruins where we clear it... Yeah, those are traps. I'll tell you that right now. When we actually have the video... There's the Albed Primer, I couldn't see it for some reason. So that's all of the Albed Primers now. Or should be. I appear not to. There it goes. It's like I appear to have not gotten the trophy for it, so I was kind of concerned, but there we go. When we have the video dedicated to the Omega Ruins and actually clearing it, I will actually go through here and open all the treasure chests, or at least open the ones that have items in them, if any, um, and grab... There's a teleport sphere up there, which, while not incredibly useful, can be somewhat handy for getting everyone on the sphere grid into the same place. When you're maxing stats on the sphere grid, basically let everyone clear the grid and then move everyone to the same node, and then slowly work your way around and max the stats out, is basically how it goes. So that was that. We have all of the Albed Primers now. We have all but one of the Aeons, which I may actually dedicate the next couple of videos to. Kinda need to level Yuna up a bit. Which might be tedious now that I'm thinking about that. But, ow. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. We have slightly less gill, sadly. <laughs> kind of annoyed by that, because I'm gonna be bribing enemies left and right at some point. But thanks for watching! We have more Aeons and stuff now, and I will see you guys next time for presumably Aeon duels. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then.